The year is 1882. A strange beaming light soars across the sky, so brilliantly vivid that it can be seen in broad daylight. Witnessed first not by scientists, but by ordinary people. It was cause for terror in those who had no idea what it could be. Our magnificent Tenebatiri, we know that it was only a comet. Seeing rare space events from Earth can be a bit frightening, especially if we don't grasp what is actually happening. And as we look deeper into the cosmos, it only gets weirder. Space is vast. Scientists have only explored a small percentage of its total size, and we are still lights away from knowing all that's out there. Humanity has made the effort to understand our universe, but we've also discovered things that seem to break the laws of physics and stumbled across events so baffling that astronomers struggle to come up with reasonable explanations. How can we explain the unexplainable? What's out there beyond our solar system? And is there anything out there looking back at us? You're watching Matter, and today we're taking a look at some strange space events that confused astronomers. In 2019, scientists were studying a galaxy that sits about 75 million light years from Earth. This galaxy is called the Kinman Dwarf Galaxy, and they found something shocking when they take a closer look. Like all other galaxies, it contains many stars burning brightly and various gas and debris within. But scientists were focused on one of its stars that they had reported previously, or rather, the absence of that one star. In the early 2000s, scientists observed a giant, late-stage blue variable star which burns over 2 million times brighter than our own sun within this galaxy. But when scientists went back and looked for this star in 2019, it was gone. There was nothing there. Not only was the star gone, but there were no signs of what had happened to it. At first, they thought it may have gone supernova, but there was no explanation of a giant explosion since its last observation. After scientists had ruled out a supernova, they theorized that the star must have had large outbursts for years after it was first observed. During these outbursts, the star must have lost a large portion of its mass. After losing this mass, the star may be dim enough that it could hide itself behind the dust clouds swirling through the galaxy. Only time will tell if this star reappears from being hidden or if it really is gone. But scientists will continue to search for the truth about what happened to this star. There are a lot of violent and high-energy events that occur within our universe. In the 1950s, scientists were looking out into the universe and recording events more than at any time before. Using radio telescopes, astronomers picked up sources that were producing large radio wave emissions. There was no explanation at the time for what could be producing these types of radio waves. Eventually, they were able to discover that these high-energy radio pulses were originating from the centers of galaxies where supermassive black holes are known to reside. Kassars are formed when enough gas and matter surround the black hole to form an accretion disk. The matter in the accretion disk falls into the black hole. And as it does, it heats up to incredible temperatures and releases large amounts of radiation. When enough matter and radiation are present, the Kassar can ignite, sending massive jets of energy from the poles of the supermassive black hole out into space. Kassars are believed to be one of the most powerful events in the universe and are thought to have caused some of the biggest explosions ever found in space. And as of this year, astronomers have already identified over 750,000 Kassars in the observable universe but more are surely out there. Astronomers have been striving to find as many planets as they can with the current generation of telescopes. During the search, they have found many, and some of them have intrigued and baffled astronomers who have then worked to explain what is happening in these strange worlds. One of these planets that seemed to be impossible at first had temperatures reaching 5,000 degrees Kelvin, which is over 4,700 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than 80% of all the known stars in the universe, this planet, named Kelt 9 b is a gas giant nearly twice as large as the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. The extreme temperatures on this planet have a few causes. For one, it orbits extremely close to its star, so it is constantly blasted by all the light and radiation coming from the star. It is also locked in a tidal orbit with its star, much like the Moon and the Earth, so the same side is always facing its star. This makes one side of the planet permanently day while the other is night, and that comes along with an extreme temperature difference between the two sides. In 2009, astronomers picked up some strange ripple effects on the Milky Way's disk. It took another six years until 2015 when astronomers were able to figure out what had been causing this odd phenomenon. It was another galaxy, a small dwarf one dubbed Galaxy X, orbiting the Milky Way. 
Even though it is relatively small, it still exhibits an effect on the Milky Way and slightly distorts its motion. Astronomers were able to detect this dwarf galaxy thanks to a few of its extremely bright stars that outshine the dust and other debris distorting it. Scientists believe that this galaxy must be mostly made up of dark matter, due to how dim Galaxy X is. Dark matter is the mysterious matter that helps bind galaxies and the larger galaxy clusters together with its gravity. There is still a lot that is unknown about dark matter, but scientists know that galaxies can be made up of primarily dark matter. One galaxy discovered in 2016 was found to contain 99.99% dark matter. Maybe by studying Galaxy X, astronomers will be able to build a better understanding of dark matter, what its role is in the universe, and what it's made of. While astronomers often look for objects or events happening in space, sometimes the absence of all of these can be just as enthralling. But every now and then we find something we can't explain. There is a giant area that's colder and emptier than it possibly could be. In 1988, a region of space was discovered that was extremely large and had an unusually low density of galaxies. Named the Giant Void, this region of space spans an enormous area with a diameter of at least one billion light years. It is located in the Northern Galactic Hemisphere and sits one and a half billion light years away from Earth. There are several galaxy clusters within this void. A closer observation has let astronomers know that these galactic clusters are very small because there is virtually no gravitational interaction between them. There are a number of identified voids throughout the observable universe and the giant void is the second largest among them. Astronomers still do not know how these voids were formed or what keeps more galaxies from forming in these regions. They can see voids like these in the cosmic microwave background radiation, so they know that these voids have existed for a very long time. But there is no clue as to what caused these massive regions of space to develop devoid of matter. Another discovery will hopefully help further the understanding of these regions of space, but until then, these voids will continue to remain a mystery to science. The Voyager 1 spacecraft was launched in 1977 by NASA with the ambitious goal of studying the outer solar system. It has traveled through space for over 44 years and is now about 20.5 billion kilometers away from Earth. Recently, Voyager 1 has sent back some interesting data while it was flying near the outer edge of our solar system. Its sensors picked up a very faint and monotone hum coming from beyond our solar system. Astronomers do not know what is causing this humming noise, but they believe that it may originate from thermally excited plasma and gas from a distant location. There is hope that studying this noise further will help scientists learn more about the border region of our solar system, or the heliopause, and how it interacts with interstellar space, something that has been a goal of astronomers for some time now. But this is not the only thing we've detected coming from far beyond the boundaries of our solar system. In 2017, astronomers working at the Hale Akala Observatory in Hawaii picked up a bright speck in their telescope barreling through the solar system. This bright speck turned out to not be an ordinary asteroid or a comet flying around the solar system, but the very first intergalactic visitor from beyond our solar system that astronomers have detected. The astronomers named it Oumuamua, which translates from Hawaiian to a messenger from afar arriving first. The object was a strange elongated mass that was flying through the solar system at 90,000 kilometers an hour. Measuring its trajectory off the sun as it whipped around it, astronomers figured out that it originated from the direction of the star Vega, over 25 light years away from Earth. Not only was this the first visitor from beyond the solar system, it also had a number of features that intrigued astronomers even more. It has an elongated shape, with its length measuring 10 times its width. Most elongated space debris that astronomers have found in space are three times as long as they are wide, so Oumuamua is very elongated by cosmic standards. Space continues to show us more of its wonders as astronomers' equipment keeps getting better. The advanced telescopes we have today allow us to look much deeper into the cosmos than ever before, with a wide variety of other features that allow astronomers to see objects in a wider spectrum of light. Looking further into the cosmos has always brought about discoveries that seem to define what is currently known about the nature of our universe. Who knows what else astronomers are going to find when they probe deeper into the depths of space than ever before. What is your favorite discovery that made science rethink its current beliefs? Be sure to join us next time, and if you watched all the way to the end, we want to say thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss out on any of our future videos.